65 million years ago, the late Cretaceous period. Earth's continents have drifted apart into familiar shapes. Flowering plants now dominate landscapes once ruled by ferns. And in the forests of what will become North America, the undisputed apex predator patrols his territory. Tyrannosaurus rex, 40 feet from nose to tail, seven tons of muscle, bone, and predatory intelligence. Bite force of 12,800 pounds, powerful enough to crush the bones of any animal that ever walked the earth. This is Rex, and these are his final days. He doesn't know that his species has only hours left. That 165 million years of dinosaur dominance is about to end. This is the story of the last morning of the Mesozoic era. For decades, we imagined T-Rex as a clumsy brute. Slow, stupid, a scavenger. We were wrong. Recent research reveals a sophisticated hunter. Vision sharper than an eagle's. Capable of detecting movement miles away. Sense of smell more acute than a bloodhound and intelligence rivaling modern raptors. Those tiny arms, perfectly designed for one purpose, gripping struggling prey while those devastating jaws delivered the killing bite. Rex was no scavenger. He was evolution's masterpiece, the most powerful land predator in Earth's history. And this morning, he's hungry. chase lasts seconds. At full sprint, Rex can hit 25 miles per hour, terrifying speed for a seven-ton animal. The juvenile Edmontosaurus never had a chance. This is the food chain in action. Life and death in the Cretaceous. The same cycle that's played out for millions of years. What neither predator nor prey can know, this ancient dance is about to end forever. territory is everything. A T-Rex needs 30 square miles to survive. Enough space to support the massive herds of herbivores he hunts. This older male has held this territory for years. Dozens of battles, countless scars. But age brings experience, strategy, the ability to win without killing. The fight is brutal, but brief. Neither dinosaur wants to die over a meal. The younger Rex retreats. The old king remains, for a few more hours at least. Neither of them knows that soon. Territory won't matter. Nothing will matter. The world itself is about to change. Night falls on the Cretaceous world. Rex rests by the river, satisfied after victory and feeding. Around him, the ecosystem continues its ancient rhythms. Small mammals scurry through undergrowth. Pteranodons roost in dead trees. The river flows as it has for millennia. Everything seems eternal, unchangeable. But 600 miles to the south, a six-mile-wide asteroid is entering Earth's atmosphere at 45,000 miles per hour. 
In minutes, everything will change. Forever. Animals sense it first. Something wrong in the air. The sky brightening from the wrong direction. Birds taking flight in panic. Rex looks up. In the western sky, brighter than the sun, death descends. The asteroid strikes the Yucatan Peninsula with the force of 10 billion atomic bombs. The impact creates a crater 110 miles wide. The shockwave races outward at thousands of miles per hour. But the dinosaur's story doesn't end. Small feathered survivors, early birds, shelter in burrows and caves. They survive the impact, winter on seeds and insects. When the dust finally settles, they emerge into a changed world, and they evolve. Today, 10,000 species of birds carry the dinosaur legacy forward. Every robin, every eagle, every chicken, all are living dinosaurs. Rex's descendants still walk and fly among us.